just just no way around it. Friday was awful, but we're up. We've been hitting and at least catching one of our two legs. So if you're playing them solo and then a smaller sprinkle on the parlay, you're in good shape. Thank you for joining us here. We're going to hit a parlay on Sunday. How about that? We're going to hit an NBA parlay on Sunday. And all you need to do is just hit the thumbs up button and tag along. That's it. Like, that's all. You want to get the keyboard ready? Oh, this guy sucks. Uh, Friday night was awful. What the hell? The Knicks lose outright. Uh, I get it. I get it. I'm not here to run from any of that shit. It was rough. But I'm back today. And I think we have two pretty good legs. It's going to be a three-to-one parlay, too. So let's head to Odd Shopper and start with the Sixers Raptors. Now, there's storylines uh, in abundance here, right? From Nick Nurse, Kyle Lowry, both returning to Toronto, to whatever the hell has happened with the Toronto Raptors just falling just falling off the face of the earth. This team had, I think, a little bit higher expectations from where they are now. Here's the biggest difference between these two teams. I mean, Toronto hasn't won since March 15th. It's March 31st. The biggest difference. I'm sorry, that was Utah. <laughs> I had Utah because I have Utah coming up next. The biggest difference between these two teams with the jazz, the chess, the biggest, can we start over? The biggest difference between the Sixers and Raptors is want, is actually wanting to win basketball games. The Sixers are just in a bad spot. They haven't recovered after losing Embiid. It's obvious. And Tyrese Maxey hasn't been able to put an entire team on his shoulder, nor should he have to do that. Other guys have disappeared or vanished, Buddy Heald, Tobias Harris, what have you. So this is not a good basketball team right now. They are taking on an even worse team. In fact, you could take Tyrese Maxey off the floor for the Sixers, and I'd still be interested in the Sixers on the money line. Granted, that would change a little bit. For us, it's the first half. It's the first half. The Raptors can tell themselves whatever the hell they want. They are not better coached right now. They don't have better talent. They don't have better top talent than the Sixers because of Maxey. The biggest difference, again, between these two teams is the Sixers are actually going out and trying to win. They just can't against good to better teams. This is not one of those cases here for the Raptors. Love the Sixers to just get out in front. They're not going to sleepwalk. Their coach won't let them. Kyle Lowry won't let them. This is personal between both of them coming back to Toronto. Don't listen to anything other than that. We start with our very first leg. Minus six and a half. Thanks to Odd Shopper. We found that price at BetMGM. Sixers laying six and a half in the first half. That's it. You want to jump on Odd Shopper? Great. 20% off. Use code Shander. You're going to get the Discord. You're going to get expert picks. You're going to get what I'm showing you here. Our market-based plus EV bets. And, and, and you will get, I know, because you can't live without it. You will get the Parlay Builder. Okay? Fa fair enough? All right? Said to our second play here. We are going to use Odd Shopper for our second play. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. And this is going to be Taylor Hendricks. Now, the Jazz are the team that hasn't won since March 15th. I apologize earlier. They had a back to back Washington, Atlanta, and then that was it. So we're targeting here because it's such a great number. And we can add this now at plus money on BetMGM. We're targeting Taylor Hendricks. We're essentially saying that he does not have it in him here, thanks to the market base price under six and a half rebounds. This is right about. You know what he's been doing uh, the month of March, but that has been a significant bump. So you're looking at a small sample size or smaller for that matter, sample size thinking, all right, well, yeah, he's going to crush this. He had nine, eight. He's had 10 boards multiple times this month. He opened up on the second with 13 against Miami. Great. This is Sacramento. This is not going to be an easy matchup. In fact, if you want to look at what happened earlier in the season, 21 minutes, he couldn't shoot worth a lick and finished with just three boards against the Sacramento front court. Three boards against the wings in front court. That's not an easy thing to just magically change. So you may be riding high on the Taylor Hendricks overs coming into this game thinking, well, he's got, he went over this and how many last two, get four or five games? Uh, no, no, actually not. And if you really want to look at the numbers over the last five, six, which can be dangerous, he went over it two straight times his last two. But then there was five games prior where he did not. The volatility is not one that I trust. The matchup is not one that I trust. And we slide in now with our second play, Hendricks, 
under six and a half rebounds, which gets us to this beautiful plus 300 parlay. Sixers minus six and a half first half spread. Taylor Hendricks under six and a half rebounds against the Kings. Plus 300 on Ben MGM. And there you have it. All right. Simple stuff. Now I got you on Odd Shopper. Let me get you on MGM. 21 or older gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER. You may not be on BetMGM right now. That's a problem. We want to fix that. You can correct that right now, right this second. You can correct it and get a first bet back up to 1500 bucks. What does that mean? Sign up at BetMGM and play this. Now, let's say you want to put the full 1500 in here. That's fine. It doesn't have to be 1500 but one, two, three, four. You know, you can do the count here with me all the way up to 1500 That wins you six grand. Six grand. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a lot for me. I can only do 150. That's fine. Anywhere from zero or 10, we would say up to $150 or $1,500. See, now you got me thinking small. It doesn't matter what it is. It can be up to 1500 bucks, and we'll get your butt in bonus bets back. That's it. That's it. And there's the parlay for you. All right. If you can subscribe on the way out, we love that. That would be wondrous here. We want you to be part of this growing odd shopper community. Let's hit a parlay. Check out the MLB parlay too. We got a two-legger up there. We just hit on Friday. And we're going to hit on Sunday for both. Four plays, two NBA, two MLB. We put them together in two parlays. And let's win.